These are carousel banners to show you the best promos, categories, and prices for hotels for your next vacation. Here at Agoda, we aim to recommend the best options for hotels. So we thought the best results are personalized and we got to work. We started by reading all of the latest papers about carousel rankings, rankings in general, recommender system, multi-arm bandits, and decided to put our best data scientist on this mission. But wait a minute. Let's look at the data first to see what there is to optimize. We found out that only 5% of our customers have been exposed to that part. So even if we built an entirely accurate model, we simply couldn't see the statistical significance of it. That case led me to think about machine learning projects, optimizations, and delivering value. Hi, data people. My name is Aviel, and I'm a data science manager at Agoda, a booking holding company and I manage teams that focus on personalization, fraud, and anomaly detection. And I'm here to talk to you about, you don't need ML for that problem. Okay, maybe in most cases, you won't need ML for that problem at start. As a DS manager, I have more experience not building ML solutions rather than building one. Every ML problem has two solutions, one is for production and one is for your CV. One is made with deep learning, transformers, embedding, anomaly detection, blah, blah, blah. And the other one brings real business value. I'll let you choose which one is which here. No one will remember how you solve this problem. So aim for the most simple, elegant, and fast solution at start and optimize further on. We all know the Pareto principle. You think that ML will give you 99% of the uplift. I'm sure that heuristic will give you at least 80% of the uplift, but the ML is a six month project and heuristics is ready for testing in two weeks. There is nothing more wasteful than solving a problem that does not exist. Consult with your stakeholders. Their domain knowledge will be invaluable. On the other hand, challenge their expected outcome and define a business KPI for success. They care less about precision or recall and more about user acquisition, conversion increase, and revenue generating. Starting a new project on a front-end element, start with simple randomizing element experiment to see if the user even care. They do, check the minimal detectable effect in order to estimate the value or the effort needed. As a result, you will be able to differentiate between the signal and the noise and you will be surprised to see how much noise there is. Make sure you have the right data to solve the problem. Understand the discrepancies between your online data and offline data and what is really available for inference. Deploy a simple baseline as soon as you can. And I do mean simple. This will allow you to monitor your features, outcome, or any bugs early on. Iterate with it until you are 100% sure that this is a healthy pipeline. Remember, Having a simple baseline in production early in the project timeline is far more valuable than having an amazing idea that is still in your Jupyter notebook. Aim for a fast deployment and learn from the results. If you want, you can even name it. How MVM sounds to you. So you deploy your first model, run an experiment, and it didn't make an impact or unfortunately lost. You might be thinking, I should have gone more complex more features, and better hyperparameters. Sometimes the greatest trait of a DS is to know when to let go. Do not fall in love with your ML ideation. Your role is in, as a DS is not about delivering as many ML as you can, it's about delivering value. All in all, it might sound that I'm against ML projects, but that's not the case. ML is an impactful tool, solving problems that were hard to solve without them optimizing areas that we couldn't reach with simple heuristics. But before we kickstart a new ML idea, we should understand the business needs, know our data, and what is our opportunity versus effort while delivering a fast and good enough solution at start. After all, it's all optimization problem. Thank you for joining my talk. You can find me either on Twitter or LinkedIn.